Hey guys, Aaron here. Um, coming at, I'm coming at you with a video a little bit more watch themed. Uh, I wanted to talk about um, NATO straps. They are one of my preferred ways to wear a watch. My watch will either be, usually be on a NATO strap or on a steel or titanium bracelet, depending on what watch I'm wearing at the time. But not all NATO straps are made the same. I sort of want to talk about that a little bit. And I want to show you my preferred NATO strap brand. Um, this is probably what you're used to seeing. This is a NATO strap from, I think I got this from NATO Strap Co. online. Great company, very fair prices, huge selection, and uh, they make a really great product. I've worn many watches on NATO Strap Co. straps. You couldn't go wrong with one. Um, this is their, I'm going to forget the model it but it's the one that's got the smaller hardware that's brushed and uh, all in all it's nice this is a 24 millimeter for my old Panerai now it just kind of sits in the box because I don't have the Panerai anymore um, another option would be a Zulu which is gonna have these bigger ring loops um, some of them will have the keeper they'll have the five ring Zulus that will have the keeper and some of them will just have the, the, the three loops like that and these are cool um, a little more uh, Tactical grade, if you will, especially with the PVD hardware on here and the green color. Um, but this is a, a, a little bit, a, a different style. I like these as well. But what I have settled on and what I have found is a company called Toxic NATO. Toxic NATO makes these. But you can see that they have upgraded the hardware on it. Like so. The loops are wider and flatter. And all in all, they're just, they're really neat. Um, the material is nice. It came just a little bit too long, so I cut it down and melted the edges, not super prettily. But they have been super comfortable, and I love the upgrades in hardware here. Um, this is an area where I think a lot of uh, NATO straps fall short just in, in how they are made. Um, and, you know, because in reality, what you're doing is you're taking a $4,500 watch or more, and you're suspending it from a $15 strap. Um, just something to think about next time you've got your Rolex on and you're hanging your hand out the window. So um, I, I really dig these Toxic NATOs. I think that they're made just a little bit better. They cost a tiny bit more. I think they're about $18 a piece. But the company has been great to work with. I've had personal contact um, resulting from my order by the owner. And um, I'm going to link them in the description. I highly recommend that you guys go check them out and uh, pick up a strap or two. Um, they, they have the one trade off you'll find with Toxic NATO is they have a more limited selection of colors and patterns than somebody like NATO Strap Co. These guys have hundreds, but I think Toxic only has a handful. All the primaries, all the ones I think you would want, but ultimately, um, I just think they're made a little bit better. Um, that's my opinion. But... Um, they are super comfortable. I like the way that they wear, and I, um, I like the way that they're made, too. But you can see, it looks pretty sharp. I do like, I do like that kind of flattened out, almost like Panerai V-style buckle, but not quite there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy it. Go check them out. Like I said, they are linked in the description. I will also be linking Blade HQ, who is my um, supporter for the channel. If you guys need any more knives, any new flashlights, or anything like that, check out Blade HQ. Any purchase you make through my link will help support my channel and help me bring you even more videos like this. Thanks, guys. See ya.